Hello everyone, I'm Dustman Avenger from Selector to Cover, bringing you Dun Greed. I mean, caught the end of last episode. We uh, took our blessing from the the priest of Perinu. We're given the bird dish, 17 to 20.5 damage, attack per second, 1, 114% dash damage. Which means, which means we gotta switch off a McCree. Go for the dude with the dash damage, that's what I wanna do. I believe his name is... What's he got? It is the King of Pickaxes. Rush, knockback enemies when you use dash attack, you also take 5 damage. Bloodstone Ring is gonna be imperative, though. You also take 5 damage. That's, uh... I don't know if that's actually worthwhile. But, um, maybe we'll do movement speed, actually. Rider Rage, because... <sighs> no, no, I said last time we were gonna do King of Pickaxes. Gotta do the King of Pickaxes. What? He gets his own weapon? Excuse me. Minus 10 power. He gets a pickaxe. A discolored normal pickaxe. Holy moly. Okay. So that's the thing. Spend our level up point. Uh, critical evasion, move attack speed. Still got the power going, because power is awesome. Let us put another point into this. We'll eventually increase our satiety. 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 Uh, let's go over to Blacksmith see what you got for free. Gotta. Oh, that's perfect, man. Movement speed? Yes, sir. That is slow as balls. Alright. Take me, dungeon! We're gonna rock our socks off. Holy moly. We did do a little bit of damage to ourselves. Jeez, so we got more HP than we normally would, so I guess that's part of his philosophy. More HP, do some crazy damage, get some stuff done. We're actually kind of kicking butt right now. Now, are we gaining? Does he naturally have like a healing ability? Because I feel like we're getting HP back a little bit. Let's see, 98. How much money do I have going into this? A lot. Okay. Uh, power is imperative, I think. I mean, honestly, always a, a fan favorite. The resist and stuff right off the way. Uh, increase dash damage. I, I feel like... Let, let, let's go hard on the dash damage, man. 12% gold drop, not that great. 3.3, .3, not that good for that. 5.1 move speed. 6 attack speed, 5.8 critical. How much uh, is the HP gain? 12 max HP, not that great. Um, tomato soup is always 10 power. I kind of want to do more defensive. Let's do defense. I can't. We'll come back for defense. Ring that's a uh, three power, five HP. See, I only took two damage that time. Is that because I went up in defense? I don't know. Take any defense? Did I? I don't know. Knife, awesome. See, he only took like two damage that time, so I'm a little bit con confused about it takes five damage when you you dash into something. We 
got one down here and to the left. Oh, Perinu. You got for me, man. Zwinehander, very nice. Halbert, not so much. Uh, we're the Pickaxe Kings, so we're gonna rock. I didn't want to do all me all melees, actually. What you got? Can we do satiety? What we got for me? Well, 40 out of 100, I can do satiety. Uh, what were we deciding on? Defense? I think it was defense, which was onion soup. Ah, them hills, man, them hills. Feels like some of them aren't actually like dash attacks, like I'm just getting an attack off. I'm not really sure how it works. King of pickaxes, so maybe pickaxes give him a little bit more better abilities? I don't know. It's two damage pop. Maybe my defense is protecting me from some of the damage. Dash becomes a problem, honestly, as this character. Okay, well... This is the second floor, so I need to kind of watch my HP, because, uh... Big Boss, we're not exactly hitting that hard. Bloodstone ring would be amazing if I could find a shot. I'm gonna find a food shop. Uh, more defense. God, the reach on that is amazing. Right here and up. All right, please tell me you got something. Oh my gosh, you got the dragon's hammer and a bloodstone ring. Oh, I can't afford both, can I? I will try. Uh, dragon hammer would probably be the most influential of that. You lose dash damage. But all oh, that 4045, that is crazy. Bloodstone ring keeps us from dying, though. Sorry, I, I gotta get the bloodstone ring. I mean, if it keeps us from dying, it keeps us from dying. I need to get this off my screen. Thank you. Weird little glitches here and there. Nice HP increase. Is that really all the floor? Oh boy, and I don't have enough for the hammer, do I? No, sir, I do not. This is, uh. I could maybe sell this, the pickaxe. Do I want to sell the pickaxe? I don't know what the pickaxe does. It's minus 10 power to use it. I think I'm actually can't be not be sold. 
Oh, Dragon's Hammer. I'm so sorry, Dragon's Hammer. Also, I'm so sorry to this boss that is about to absolutely destroy me. Please give me some HP. HP! A little bit of HP. 47 out of 120. It's gonna be a tight, tight fight, folks. I'm not doing crazy dablage, and apparently when I do dash, I hurt myself, so. We have 6 HP. Dashing almost killed us right there. Okay. Dashing's a little bit more dangerous now. We got mo enough money for anybody and 80 out of 120. We got spring shoes. Jump power. Plus 3 jump power and gain additional bonus damage the longer you stay airborne. Oh. Oh, I don't have a choice. All right, well, this will be fun. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not gonna pogo stick. That's gonna be a little annoying trying to get my gold. You have more pressures. Oh, you have an Illinois. Well, the armor plus five defense is also nice. Um, boo, 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 boo. Yeah, I kind of want to take this for the defense. Defense plus six, though. You know what? Let's take it. Let's do as much damage as this uh, by a long shot. We can sell the. Oh, we oh we can't sell it. <laughs> It's our starting weapon. Mm, do I do that for them? Yeah, let's... Not enough gold? It's not enough gold. Okay. Just gotten weird, folks. I'm sorry. Gotten real weird. Do it yet? All right. Yeah. This is weird. For the HP, I don't know how I'm gonna get the gold in this place. Is... I guess I'm constantly jumping, so I can if I hold down, jump down. But two down, the gold's gone. Shoes bounce you all the time. <sighs> Ooh.
need a ranged weapon. This is a silly run. I can't, I can't, I can't anymore. I can't. I, I know it's, I know it's three power. I know I can jump higher. I just got all this stuff, but he's making me sick. And puking on street, uh, on recording is not gonna help me any. Defense. No healing? Not really necessary for healing. So Bitmip is sold out once you eat it. Like you no longer need the effect ever. That's pretty cool. Dash damage. Let's go. Back to doing dash damage. I don't really have a choice. I don't like the fact that it does knock back as well. So it's 2 HP a hit, despite the tooltip originally saying 5. That should, that's what I should be using it for uh, strong enemies, knocking it back, attacking it like that. Meet Bow Garlic Sauce. Throw the vine! Always a classic! That I can't afford. I'm selling you suckers, I don't care anymore. Get rid of you as well. Get rid of you. I'll come back and buy the, the sort of vine. Possibly. I don't know. You distribute more stuff as well. HP but gain power. Which still puts us 94. That's still a good amount of HP to have. This guy uh, naturally starts with more HP. I'm trying to feel like maybe it's not an everyday use attack. It's kind of like, oh, you need a strong attack. Well then. Dodge, dash, dodge into the enemy. Kill it quick. If you need, like, if you need an enemy done uh, right now, that's what you want to use. Which makes sense. 
It's like a Hail Mary, like, yeah, I, oh, my, my butt, my, the hairs of my butt burned on that one. It's like your power attack. Like, you're gonna take damage because you're doing the power attack. That's why you only use it sparingly. Power attack probably wouldn't work very well right there. Nice. Contributed anything so far? to get to the big boss, you'll find that little uh, spinny thing's gonna help, because then I can just jump around her and pop all the things I need to pop. For just basic dungeon running, the Bardiche works great. Hey, do I still want this? Blunderbuss is amazing and I should love it. Boomerang, I feel, would probably be better. Range. Let's do that. Let's get the boomerang. We'll use this for now. I got here. I don't have any. No, oh, I got all the rooms filled. All right. So over here, spin with gold. We got. Hmm. Percent crit damage. Fried egg is sixteen. That's not bad. Uh, uh twelve max health is kind of poopy. Let's do defense. Currently at 20 defense. Which doesn't seem like much, and it probably isn't. Not in the grand scheme of things. Give me some healing, maybe? I was really hoping I could throw one out there and do damage to it. I'll have to try that again later. because I'm scared the thing's gonna come back and smack me. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Bullion! So, 2300 bucks plus the gold earned. Alright, that'll help me out next. Next flow. The heels. Should be immune to poison. I took the bip bip. What up, lady? Okay, I'll come back. Peace. This is the exit, actually. Cool. Exit shop and heels right next to each other. I 
could throw multiple. Oh, if I could. I can't throw multiples of those out, can I? Okay. Just wanted to check. It'd be cool if I get like double, double fist the boomerang. Don't, don't take it the wrong way. However, it is already kind of powerful if you think about it, because it goes through walls. Pretty solid. Um, Hammer of Tegas is 22 crit. 22 critical as an accessory. Actually, 22 crit uh, means it raises our wit, wit critical chance. Uh, I think it's about 20. I mean, I know if this is an 80% damage bonus, my only guess is a 20% chance to crit. They don't really explain the exact number of readouts, which is kind of like the inherent downside to having number readouts is you need to explain what your numbers mean and how which before anyone knocks on it they do they do say they don't say like this is a point is it a point five percent is it a you know 24 percent is it a, a flat number ratio because I mean like uh, some games I think it was like Ion, I was like, you know, 200 crit might actually only equate to like, like a 50, 20% crit chance. Uh, nothing too fancy, but I'll sell this off for the money, thank you, honey, my crack friend. Head down to the left, looks like where that's all the, uh, the rest of the dungeon is. Ow. Something else came back with that. Ow. Ow. Seriously? So, it's just the direction he's facing relative to you. Oh, leather armor. Nice. Uh, plus 20 power, minus 10% health. I mean, it's 5 defense. Bunch of stuff out. Go here. Get what food we can get. I'm gonna go more defense, cause defense. Defense. I I originally I was doing defense that wanted to know if it would decrease the amount of damage you took from your own. It actually doesn't seem like it does, but. No, we're already trying to pack it in. Let's just begin and keep going. Ow. That's not fair. You should have hit me there. Oh, 
noise. Another one? No, it's not another one. I have... Okay, well. Now we're just getting in danger. Danger town. 50 power. 20 power. Less and less HP. 130 power. That's a lot of power. It's a lot of power for a non... Criminal. You can't get up here, can you, buddy? Mm. Yeah. Mm, still no. Can't do another five defense. I need forty for that. Almost. Almost there. Though. I need more gold. Black Rose Hawk earring, another boomerang. G. GG, man, GG. I wish I could get two bloodstone rings. And I, I've seen double weapons. I think that the game is very, very, uh, keeps up with what you got. Probably doesn't want you to get too many of the, of the same ultimate items because it could be dangerous. You know, for the items. For the enemies, not for you. <laughs> Dangerous for the items. You know, they lose their self... Their self-identity at this point. Watch your eye. That's not bad, actually. That's evasion. I think that may be defense. It does protect us from long-range attacks, well, certainly. I wonder if that would protect us from... Nah, probably would. Probably would. Uh, if, if anyone yell is yelling at me later for, like, the Watcher protects against the, uh, the long-range attack from the, the Lizard King. Well, uh, I'll give it a shot later. I, I, I kind of dig what we got going now. It's it's weird. It's kind of unconventional for the King of Pickaxes to not use his pickaxe. Maybe I should go back to the pickaxe. I mean... How many pickaxes do you see? Never? So as I said originally that the uh, Antony or whatever is just going to be used for Nilfheim. This does attack pretty fast. It's not bad, honestly. Mirror of Mummy. Now that I thought about it, that mirror doesn't really make sense because it's it's poison resistance. Where's a mummy gonna get poison? It's dead. Okay. Oh, I was like, where's the exit? Oh, it's it's right here. All right, let's go for it. Probably should have. Yeah, I totally should have brought uh, bought say T80. It's Turok. Uh, Tunok. Ow. Gosh. Oh my oh wow, he uh that that wave attack man. Whew. Got twenty-nine at least. Almost thirty, not quite thirty. Maybe I need to go full defense. I mean I've been rocking full power, but maybe that's not my problem. Maybe I just need to protect myself. 
Alrighty, let's go to the blacksmith, see what he gives us. I I kind of like the idea of this, and I, I thought about this like earlier today. Uh, whatever the blacksmith gives me, that's what I'm just going to base my run around. If it's an accessory, we get adventurer. If it's a weapon, based on what type of weapon, if it's a dashing weapon, we'll get one guy. If it's a movement-based weapon, uh, like increases movement speed or... Or it seems like it's a fast attacking, like a dagger or something, and we'll get one of the moving guys. I mean, we'll... But I mean, at the same time, I am going to play around with a couple of the classes first. I, before I officially start that, switching off based on what freebie gear we get, they kinda, that's the only way to really, really randomize the, the boutique. Uh, I do want to try each of the, the classes. So what is our next class that we want to try? Uh, I was thinking Lotus... Marks an attacked enemy, which deals an additional 10 damage, max 80, for enemies that are marked less than two times. Only one damage is dealt. I'm not even sure how that works exactly. Do we have an ability that marks them? I mean, I don't know. Throw this in here, train. Um, yeah, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reset. We're gonna go patience. Gives us uh, non combat regen. HP is below 30%. Uh, I'm gonna go power 8. Uh, so, let's just go power and wrath. Or, I, I mean, I could go full. Evasion. How much evasion do we get up here? Just only a 10% crit, 10 evasion. Cooldown rate of item skills increased by 40%. That's pretty useful. Items that it, it doesn't seem that useful, honestly. Versus some of the other stuff. Like, at least max defense is 20 defense. I mean, you get... Essentially, uh, protect you against death. Only triggers once at the dungeon. Okay, so if you get about to die, it'll protect you. Uh, Non-combat state up to 30% HP. Receive magic. I kind of feel like this and greed would be most beneficial. Because defense and HP, great combination. But we'll see. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. For more news information on what's going on, what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw and want to see more, hit slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the content. This is Dust Bunny Avenger from Slacks and Covers signing off for now. Till next time, folks. Take care.